Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. This is for <clears throat> Virgo, sun, moon, rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, <clears throat> my goodness, sorry, my information is down below in the description box, but they are currently full and I'll let you guys know when they open back up. But just FYI, um, if you guys want to go over and just subscribe to my website, just because I'm going to be making a lot of changes and... If you go there and send me your email, I'll give you updates. I'm not a crazy person on, I don't send you a bunch of emails and I don't give your email information out. So you guys will be safe if you feel like doing that. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Well, I had a feeling that there was going to be a third. I just knew. I was like, I, I think I'm going to need the third one. So there we go. Um... Virgo, you could be dealing with three peeps, maybe, because you have the Queen of Swords, we have the Fortitude or the Strength, and the High Priestess. So we've got Leo, Pisces, and possible air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stick with straight up that there's a few people in this mix here. Okay. Um, I have a feeling that, like, you know what I kind of think is happening? I think that there is some type of a dynamic here where someone is kind of sensing that, like, you might have come back in the mix in some way, shape, or form. It's kind of like your energy is online again towards this person. They might be sensing it, and they could have been with some other type of person like or you know spending time with this person and now i just kind of get the sense that their attention is coming over here because the the entanglement the energy is back online for some reason why is that is that you or was it them is there just something that you're kind of picking up on their emotions that they might be thinking about you again or are you starting to see signs of them or something like that let me see Let's grab the archetypes first. Why am I so... I'm like so quiet in your reading today. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, it's meant to be. Okay. So we have the creator. This is interesting. Um, okay. Sorry, I am like, I'm not even saying very much in your reading. Okay, so let me start out here. Because I'm going to say for some reason that this is a connection that was very like, I think it came back into your time a bit and it brought some color back into your life. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. And it could have pulled you out of a time where maybe you were feeling a little bit weak or, you know, like maybe going through your dark night of the soul. And so energetically, it's like this person kind of heard your energetic cry of distress. I've been getting this whole thing lately of like damsel in distress. So maybe this is someone that kind of came in at this time and brought this color back in. It started to like make you kind of believe in, in like moving forward or that there were actually connections out there that made, made you feel like someone cared or something like that. Let me see what the other side is. Yeah, and that's why, okay. Are you ready for this? Because this is the lover. And so in Carl Jung's archetypes, he has like, I think it's six or seven archetypes that fall under the lover position. And it's kind of like when a person, and bear with me, I know this is going to sound kind of weird, but you guys know how I am. When someone starts kind of like putting a call out there it's really animalistic in a way. It's kind of like, it's, uh, uh, in a weird way, it's like putting a call out there that you're like ready to come together with another human. Let's just put it that way, <laughs> okay? So whenever that happens, 
you, but it's from a place of detachment. It's not so much like this, um, you know, desperation, because if you have certain things that are accompanying with a call that you're putting out into the universe, like, oh, this literally happens, okay? You know how, how animals have calls that they sh send out? We have that as humans. We have little, like, calls that we send out to the universe when we're maybe in need or we're feeling weak and or when you're standing in your strength and you're ready for a relationship. It's kind of like you're putting some type of call out there. And it could be something like, oh, that you're wanting a lover. And, and it's probably because there's, like, something lighting back up in your energy. That's kind of what I'm getting through this process, if that all makes sense. So I can kind of see that there is someone particular coming in and kind of like answering to the call or they're picking up on it right now in the 5D and they could be because that's what I get with the priestess. It's kind of like everything that goes on in the 5D and the things that you're feeling and you're sensing in your subconscious. So that's why I was saying if you're thinking about a particular person, it could be that they're like thinking about you. And you might get some type of indication with the Queen of Swords. There might be something that comes in and kind of indicates that this person is thinking about you or wants to reach out to you. Yeah, that's why. There's that King of Cups again. He was showing up like crazy in the recent read I did for All Signs. So look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Could be a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But other than that, what's happening is it is someone's kind of feeling the emotions. Even though there's someone here that's more independent. And with the Fortitude card, I feel as though someone's feeling a little bit scared to come in and approach you. I don't know why I'm getting that specifically, but there's something about, I want to say that you're the one that's kind of independent. You're standing on your own two feet and becoming really confident in that. There's just an energetic shift that you've been going through, but I feel like down at a deeper level, you're still kind of sending this emotional kind of call out there. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's really interesting. So it could be that you're doing something on your own. Oh, listen to this. Okay. And we have the Knight of Swords. So there's the communication I was wondering that was going to come in. So right now you could be in this mode, Virgo, of doing something independently or doing something on your own. And you have these ideas of maybe something that you want to create for yourself in your life. This is like this other part of you that really like alchemizes you. And whenever you start thinking about it, you get really lit up or even when you actually do it, you really enjoy yourself. And that creates all these really amazing alchemical, uh, you know, vibrations that go on within your being. And it really tr like does a lot to your energetic being. Let's just put it that way. So, What's happening is, though, there could be something about your own little process of that sometimes it's even hard for you to actually get into it. Even though you love doing it, even though you know it's good for you and that it's almost like healthy when you do this thing and it's and it could lead to long-term success. It could lead to some type of maybe even way that you could make money. But what happens is... You have this bit of a like chemical part of you that starts pulling in other people as distractions when you're not actually jumping in and doing this because this is the alchemy that's going to actually like put you into your strength. And what's happening is you could also be turning your back on your own thing that you could that you love to do for yourself. You know what I mean? So Knight of Swords, that's why I'm getting like if someone comes in it, I feel as though at this point, what it will do is you might come off as like detached or not wanting to do anything. Like maybe, oh, look at that. Wow. The high priestess again. And this, I want to say this is kind of confusing for this person and be a little cautious about where your energy is. I, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but it's kind of like 10 of wands and the high priestess right there. It's almost like you're overburdened by something that you're having to do on your own right now. So as I was saying before, you've maybe been putting out this call just energetically. Every time you release these chemicals of disappointment or dissatisfaction around what you're doing, it puts that energy and that vibrational call out to the universe. So that's why you guys will probably land in these very specific pockets of energy, maybe with where you go. 
So that's why I was saying pay attention to how people treat you like cashiers or people that you call on the telephone like bills and things like that because you'll be able to see like automatic reflections of where your energy is at. And so that's why I was saying pay attention to that because there's a releasing that's happening here. And it could just be to a specific pattern that you have. But with the High Priestess card, it's interesting because... I think what will happen is someone's going to reach out and you're either going to like not talk to them at all or reject them in some way, shape or form because they're still and you might also be kind of in this back and forth energy of wanting to be independent because maybe whatever this thing that you're creating is going to open a really amazing door of opportunity to you. Maybe some type of freedom or relocation or <clears throat> maybe it's your dream to just be some type of an artist or I know most Virgos wouldn't be like, oh, I'm, I'm not creative, but your opposite sign is Pisces, which is very creative. So it can be an untapped resource. And to me, all humans are creative just in their own separate ways, like in their own unique way. So that could be something that you're really diving into is your own unique way to express yourself and create. And that is what is going to freaking open up these vortexes to the thing that you want truly in your life. And I feel like this whole process is is going to lead you to a very specific love but vibrationally you're moving up in energies first before that actually comes there so that's why I pay attention also to your intuition with that coming out twice because you might be getting almost downloads that a particular person even though they have a lot of love and emotions for you you might be a little bit like guarded against this person and I'm not one of those people that's going to say Virgo open your heart and love and trust no when you're going through an alchemy there's a certain level of like growth that you need to go through and especially when you have the queen of swords and the strength card there's a certain type of alchemy that needs to happen before certain relationships can come in and really stick and be committed and when you're changing a karmic cycle but you have to have that downtime of maybe really truly being on your own and accomplishing a certain level of things when it comes to your creativity for uh, you to shift into what you're desiring because I feel like your intuition is communicating with you like crazy saying, Virgo, this is your path. Like there's more up ahead. That's what I'm saying here is like there's more up ahead here and your intuition is going to be guiding you in the direction of that. So I'm going to dive into the details of this and see whatever else wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.